Thank you, Haley. Here I am with Laurie in the social media hub, and um, you are wearing the exact same dress as Haley tonight. Did you not like, get the memo? No. No, there no. was there was a real <laughs> awkward moment when Haley and Laurie turned up to work today. They just looked at each other and stared. We did. Yeah, <laughs> awkward, isn't it, when oh, that happens? Yeah. Very awkward. You're looking well. Thank you. And are you? How was your week? It was good. How was yours? Did you miss me? Um, Don't answer that. Let's move yeah. on to the social media right. stuff. Um, so, one of your talking points was the Edinburgh Council to close 10 popular public toilets. Mm -hmm. And there's also, we might be closing 12 as well. So we just asked out there, will this affect you? Do you think this is a good idea? And obviously lots of people have got in contact. So Ian McWilliam um, has contacted us through Facebook. Where do they expect people to go if they have medical conditions? Use the street or, or the park, which is, you know, if, if you do have a medical condition and you need to go to the toilet, you know, where are you supposed to go? Mm -hmm. um, Stuart Lyons got in contact through Twitter. He thinks it's a disgraceful proposal. They should be spending money on their upkeep. The gents at Tallcross is a disgrace. Can I ask you, before you go through more of these messages, uh -huh. what was the general feeling? Bad idea or do they understand because they're trying to save money? A lot of people do think it's a bad idea, okay. especially with the um, festivals are coming up, um, the good weather's now coming up, so I think it's just a lot of people are a little, just a bit frustrated about what else they're supposed to do. So David Kidd's got in contact with Facebook, when the weather was nice, the parks were absolutely full of people, so where should they go? We should have more public toilets, not less, this is really embarrassing. I agree, mm -hmm. and yeah. I made the point in, during the talking points with our guests, this is a capital city. Yeah. It's Edinburgh. Yes. We have a lot of people who visit the city. Yes. And to close 12 public toilets is a bit of a, a joke, yeah, isn't it? It is. Quite, that's what a lot of people are just saying. It's like, it's a disgrace. So Beth has got in contact with you. It's a disgrace. The first one on the list is London Road. That one is always so busy. I, for one, have had to use it. What about the people with medical conditions? Again, what people are saying. Um, Scott D. Ellis. So what will happen to the toilet box? Um, will they be sold just like police boxes? And that's true. So when they close them, what actually happens to them? Will they demolish them? I'm not sure make them eat a, in, I'm not exactly. sure make a, eat a burger out of one of them. I know. <laughs> make them into a restaurant. I nah. mean, what, <laughs> what will we do? How <laughs> <laughs> can anyone get in contact with us tonight? Um, so you can contact us on Twitter or Facebook at SAV Edinburgh and by emailing show at sav.tv. Don't forget to use hashtag show. It's so easy to get in contact with us nowadays. It is, it Twitter, is. Facebook, email, and Laurie reads all your messages and if you're nice you might even reply to you <laughs> as well. <laughs> Only if you're nice, yes. <laughs> Thank you Laurie. Thank you. Uh, there's a quick break coming right up but stay where you are because we're back in the kitchen with Mark Greenaway in just a couple of minutes and we're our very own antiques floor show right here in the studio. We'll be back in a couple of minutes and wait till you see what we've got up for auction tonight not to be missed.